in Asia, a U.S. manufacturer set up a plant for integrated circuits and hard drives. This plant was infiltrated by an overseas intelligence service and for six months produced integrated circuits and hard drives that had backdoors in them. And when they were sent and finally installed in DOD systems here in the United States, they had mechanisms that copied files and sent them back to the intelligence service headquarter. We believe these kinds of problems could have been mitigated through adequate best practice security reviews, those weren't put into place sufficiently to stop this massive breach. I think if you look at some of the challenges that are facing our intelligence community going forward is we really need to think differently about cybersecurity. And there's a very strong need for professionals who are capable of understanding the global nature of IT systems and the need to have secure and robust and resilient uh, design and set of controls in place. So what better place than a world-class institution like the University of Maryland where we can bring together faculty across different disciplines, the science, the technology, uh, and the business perspectives to think differently about cybersecurity. It's going to be a multifaceted learning environment. There's going to be in-class lectures with our faculty members. It's going to be simulations that give students um, very advanced tool sets to use to uh, simulate risk, to analyze risk. And it's going to be um, projects, team-based projects that are based on real industry cases. There's going to be a lot of learning that's going to happen in the classroom from student to student, from leader to leader. But that's going to be facilitated by some of the great faculty that we have here at the university. The boot camp is really an orientation to life at Smith. What do we do here at Smith? What resources are available for the students, both in terms of research resources, career service resources, and to meet all of the folks here at Smith, the faculty and support staff and administrators, who are all going to be working together to help each student succeed. They're going to get a chance to go ahead and provide cases and simulations and real-world experiences uh, share with the students about what it takes to go ahead and think about cybersecurity. So the systems thinking course is an important part, I think, of our cybersecurity leadership program because it's going to get people to move away from just thinking about the different silos that we have about cybersecurity. In other words, what we're doing is we're trying to take a look at the complexity of the system and be able to analyze it without necessarily losing any of the, the elements of it. The capstone is a project-based course. There'll be a series of projects inside teams that will be focused on industry-specific problems that the teams will have to solve. The industry is requiring uh, great numbers of people, and just between 2009 and 2010, the industry uh, added 5,000 jobs here in Maryland, and in addition, the estimate has been between 25 and 30,000 jobs that have not been able to be filled in the field. So we're looking for people who are looking to aspire to start new companies, to help further their careers within existing companies, and frankly, to, to help provide a fresh perspective on what it takes to be a cybersecurity leader. Who are capable of working across not only technical stovepipes, but functional stovepipes across an organization and across an organization's customers and suppliers. So everybody from a budding entrepreneur to someone who might work for a Fortune 500 company or looking to develop their careers in cybersecurity would be appropriate for our program.